All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back in here. Today's episode, yeah. we're going to be talking about interracial dating and celebrities uh, dating outside of their race. And um, yeah, let's get into it, man. dating i don't have a problem with interracial marriages neither um what what i do have to acknowledge you know what i'm saying is that um it's a lot it's a lot more prevalent now than what it was you know 10 15 something years ago you know what i'm saying it's a lot more popular now and it's a lot more accepted now um, as far as like the, uh, the celebrities and how they do it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's slightly different. You know what I mean? Um, most of them do it for, you know what I mean? Different reasons. You know what I mean? Status, um, most likely, you know, trophy, trophy wife type of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not really for the, you know, good reasons. You know what I mean? I don't think it's based off of love anymore. When it comes to the celebrities, I think it's more based off of like, you know, what's in your pocket. Cause let's face it, like, you know, a lot of these people, you know what I mean? That they want to get themselves connected with, you know, they got bread. So, you know what I mean? They want to put themselves in that type of space. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, you connected with the, you know, when you connected with the significant other, they might be of another race, you know, and that's how they moving, you know. But uh, as for me, I really don't have a problem with it, but I just feel like um, it's the way the way it's uh, being portrayed in Hollywood is, uh, and you know, in the entertainment world, world is. Uh, Slightly different from um, how it's being uh, portrayed in our realm. Let me just say that, you know. But hey, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, there's so many different ways I can attack uh, the interracial dating market. Um, politically. Entertainment, entertainment, I don't think that's the word, entertainmently, but entertainment wise and politically, there's so many different ways you can attack this. Um, without me going too deep into politics, I'll start with that. Uh, politically, a lot of politicians try to promote diversity, but they'll, they'll call it, a, um, they'll call it, a how would I say this? They try to they try to promote diversity, and um, basically what they're doing is it's more of a distraction than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the politicians that talk about white supremacy and the patriarchy and the white man and all this stuff, they're married to white people. That's the hypocrisy in it. So the normal people, the normies, what they would call them, they don't pay attention to these things. They look at it like, oh, well, she's right. Or he's right. There is white supremacy or there is the patriarchy. But they don't look into the background of these people. Same people that's telling you about white supremacy is married to a white person. So how are you telling me that all white people are racist, but you're married to a white person? That just doesn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to the athletes or the entertainers, that's a misconception because it's only a few black men married to white women. 
not that many. And a good portion of them probably had a black girlfriend when they went into it and ended up doing some things like and messing around and end up with a white girl or whatever. Not to say that that's not in their best interest because some people really do love their significant other, whether they're white or black. The picture that's floating around that I'm going to put on the screen right here is Michael Jordan and everybody saying, well, look at Michael Jordan. He looks like the oddball. Everybody else got black wives. He has a white wife. But see, again, this is the hypocrisy of it because he did have a black wife before. And what happens is people take, they take that and they run with it. And nobody does any research before. It's like we only live in the here and now. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to say, you know what? Well, maybe let me see what happened before. You know what I'm saying? And now any anything to tear down a black man, they're going to use it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the same people that's criticizing him have no problem with marrying or dating white people. But again, they playing off of people being stupid. Because people don't do research. So all this is being played off of that. How I feel about uh, interracial dating, I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it ever was a problem for me. Because I believe that if you can have a child with another species, or the same species, I would say, which is a human then there's no difference. We have the same body parts. We have the same eyes, the same nose, the same teeth, the same heart, the same hands, the same feet. The only thing different is the color of our skin. Same so blood. Let me, ask you, let me ask you this, right? So why do you think, because this is getting back to what I was saying before, um, so why do you think that now in like, you know, entertainment world that it's so like, um, because even though there might not be a lot, the ones that are, those are the ones that are being pushed to the forefront and you see on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying? And the ones that are not are like, you know what I mean? Are pushed off to the side. But my, my question is, why do you think it's uh like I don't know like why do you think it's such a thing now in the entertainment world? Why do you think it's such a thing? You know what I mean? Um what 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 do you think that uh transpired within that time frame that uh made them made them like, you know what I'm saying, make it like a trend. So okay, so your question is why is it pushed out there? Yeah, why is it pushed out there so much and to a point where like it's almost like it's a problem and then like um I feel like like I told you, I feel like the people that are are linking together is more of a financial thing. I don't think it's based on love. I think <laughs> Look. Yeah. There's a bunch of different reasons why that is, right? Oh, so okay, so they want to push out diversity at the same time, they're pushing out division. So this is a crazy part about it, right? Everybody always wants to be, whether it's on the left or the right, whatever political party you stand with, everybody says, nobody says that people should just be with their own people. Nobody says that. You know what I'm saying? That might be, that might be a sentiment or someone might feel that way. But you won't catch nobody saying that on television. If they do, they out of here fast. Anybody from it, it doesn't matter, except if you maybe like if they don't take you that serious. Like some people don't take Dr. Umar that serious. So when he says stuff like that, people don't like, oh, yeah, we should go back to Africa. Nobody, nobody takes that serious because that's not going to happen. Um, But they pushing out diversity as well as, as at the same time division, right? How can you say you want us to be diverse, 
but then complain about a black man marrying a white woman. Mm-hmm. You just said you want us to be diverse. Mm-hmm. You want diversity, inclusion, equity, right? So what's the problem? Oh, no, you don't want that part of that. So I think people are naturally drawn to each other. It doesn't matter what color you are. Because at this point, especially with social media, people are much more connected than they ever was. So you can meet people from Sudan that you probably would have never met. You could meet people from DR. You could meet people from wherever. You never seen these people before because social media wasn't involved. You know what I'm saying? So the interracial thing is really a made up thing when it comes to just black and white people. To me, I don't think that nobody cares if it's any other race. I don't think that uh, uh, Asian people care if you sleep with a black guy. I don't think that they care for the most part. I don't think that they, I don't think that uh, uh, Hispanic people care if you mess with this person. I think it's more prevalent when it comes to black and white people. And they use this to keep us separated, divided, because they, 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 they feed us, well, we're going to hit you with, everybody has to be an, an all inclusive, but then at the same time, the white man is bad. Like what? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, now, as far as you saying this being pushed to the forefront, I think it's actually a good thing if you ask me, because that just shows people that people can love whoever, whether it's a fake love or real love. Because, again, people don't do research and they look at things from a perspective of surface level. So if you look happy, most people are going to think that you are happy. Now, if you see most white couple, black and white couple, except for recently with the guy getting killed and all that stuff. But most couples that you see black and white, they always look happy. They always look happy. Now, is that a good thing for the black community? Maybe not because you don't never really see the black and the uh, <laughs> black people happy. You know what I'm saying? They don't push that out there, which they did because it's the truth. But then again, they do because Obama. But again, I believe that that's what they that's why they push it to the forefront, because some people like Michael Jordan. I think that with, with I think where people go wrong is they equate black people when they get money that they automatically start messing with white people. And that's, and that's the not point the case. I was trying to, that's the point I was trying to drive because uh, but I couldn't just I couldn't explain it properly. But that was the point I was trying to drive. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it just seems like uh, anytime, you know, a, a, a black person will get their pockets, you know what I mean, fat, then uh, the first thing they go for, you know what I'm saying, is having a white girlfriend or something well, like that. Well, that's I would say the- um, that's not necessarily true. Not in all cases. Mm-hmm. Because... Only a certain amount of black men are married or mess with white women. That's a fact. I think that the ones you see, yeah, is put out there. But a good portion of people, a good portion of entertainers, you don't even know who they're with. Like you'd see about five or six. But uh, but here's another thing too. Should we say that about Robert De Niro? His 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 uh, wife is black. Ted yeah. Danson's wife was black. Should but, we say that about him? You know what I'm saying? But, He's white. Yeah, but that's what that's another point. That drives my other point. Like, they naturally love each other. You know what I'm saying? I've read things, I've seen things. But how's they, that? But the, but see that the, the, but the point I'm making is how's that how how can you say that someone naturally loves each other because it's a white man with a black woman? Nah, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you could tell that their relationship was general, genuine, however they met. But there's a lot of these other relationships that don't, to me personally, I'm going to just say me. It just don't seem genuine to me. It just seems like kind of odd. You know what I mean? 
And now, and I'm not even going to put, you know, the age brackets out there because look, you know what I'm saying? Age doesn't really matter anymore. I mean, we we done we done seen that over the course of time that age doesn't really matter, you know what I mean, at this time as long as you of age. Let me just put it like that. It matters if you are not of age. If you of age legally, it matters, you know what I'm saying? And it's good. But what? if, huh? No, I was gonna say something. Go ahead. Yeah, but if you uh, you underage and you trying to get like you know what I mean you sixteen and you trying to talk to somebody that's thirty five, no, that's a red flag. You know what I mean? Well, I'm talking about you know maybe twenty five and another another person is forty. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. You know. Well, but, um, I will say this. Naturally. Men are attracted to younger women. Yeah. And, 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 and when I speak younger women, I'm saying 18 and above. I'm not talking anything below 18. So whenever I say younger women on this podcast, and I want y'all to click this, I'm not talking anything under 18. 18 and above. Most men are attracted to younger women. Most older men want a young, beautiful woman. That's just a fact. Most men will take a young, beautiful, fertile woman ranging from 18 to 27 or 25 over a 35-year-old woman any day, yeah. especially if she doesn't come with baggage. So most black guys who are at the age of Michael Jordan, he like younger women because younger women, older, the, older, the older men get, the more we we like fine wine, I just be I just be brutally honest. Men age very well. You know what I'm saying? We're like fine wine. We can age, and and look don't look our age. Ninety percent of women age and look their age. So if they've been mm. ran through in their uh twenties and thirties, by the time they hit forty, they're gonna look all of forty or more. Now, if the guy ain't taking care of himself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I use myself as an example. Most people think that I'm in my 20s. I'm not. I'm not even in my 30s. You know what I'm saying? So, ex again, so a lot of times, that now that's, that, that part comes in now. When you say uh, they, they don't look like they're in love, it's two things I got to say about that. One, most of the time, they probably not. Most of the time, the girl probably is in love with the guy. But he's not in love with her. Because, again, it is a trophy. We want that younger, beautiful woman. It doesn't necessarily mean that she, we have to be in love with her. You know what I'm saying? And you know the old saying, what's love got to do with it? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that. Two, um, it does look weird, but I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. I don't care if it looks weird because I look at it like this. He's an older man and he want a, he want a younger woman. <laughs> That's yeah. just that. Yeah. And she don't look that young. She looked like she looked like they, the way people was explaining this. There was like the girl was 18. She looked like she's about 35. That woman looks like she's about 35. Yeah. It I just looks bad because it's next to all of those other people. Yeah. I wanted to drive one more point, you know what I mean, before we uh check out. I also wanted to say too, there's a there's a pretty hefty amount of women, you know what I'm saying, that age pretty well. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't wanna I don't want to say that women don't age well. I've seen some women, whether they Where? were white, whether they were black, Where? that aged pretty well. I Are mean, you seeing these I people? can't. I, I've seen here, like, you know what I'm saying, in our, in our world, and I'm seeing it in the celebrity world too. But in the celebrity world, I don't really count that too much because they got money. But what I'm saying is that. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, if if you take care of yourself. That's you know the I mean? point right there I was making. 
you know, I said you take that. care of yourself. I yeah, said you that. did. If you take care of yourself, yeah, that you can still, you know, keep a good portion of your youth. Now, I can say this, there's some people out there whether it's male or female, white or black, Hispanic, whatever, that just have good genes and they're able to, you know what I'm saying, look rejuvenated and they're up there in age. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like, yeah, you're I, right, you're right. So, you're right. I can't, I, I, well, can't I would say, like, you're right, go ahead. I'm, yeah, so I can't, like, you know, um, agree totally with that, but I do understand but look, what you're saying. But this is my point. My point is, and I said this, mm-hmm. most men, even if you're 45 and you look like you're 25, once the guy finds out you're 45, he's not going to want to be with you. That's just the bottom line. If he could be with a 25-year-old and she got no kids, no baggage, and, and she's standing next to the 45-year-old and the 45-year-old looks good too, most men are going to go for the 25-year-old because they look at it like this. Well, she's 25, she'll listen more, I can mold her, I can, I can, uh, I ain't gonna say manipulate, but I can basically, you know, have her do things I want her to do. I won't have no yeah. back talk from her. 45-year-old yeah. one, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of that, especially if she's single at 45. Mm-hmm. It's a red flag. Anyway, yeah, man. Anyway, Sketchpad, that was a good episode. We out of here.